And we are talking three big stories in the world of entertainment <laughs> with John Kessel and Medes from the Review Journal. He writes the column called Cats. And What's up? He's in every Wednesday. And boy, we've got a lot of things to talk about a today. Lot to a lot going on since, uh, yeah, since the last time I was in here, for right? sure. Mm -hmm. You were in here a week ago. And yep. since then, Friday night, there was a little mishap there with Chris Angel at his show at the Luxor. I saw you tweeting about mm -hmm. it as soon as it was going on. There mm -hmm. were ambulances at the Luxor. Yep. Um, and you had the chance to talk to him, right? I talked to Chris on Monday, yeah, and, and uh, had been in Texas with him a little bit before that on mm -hmm. Sunday uh, and even on uh, on Saturday to make sure he was going to be back in the show. What happened to Chris on Friday night, and this really blew up on uh, on social media, is one of those mm -hmm. uh, throw a match in a gas can kind of things. He, in this trick here, in this straitjacket routine, you can see is, is extremely physically difficult. He blacked out on his way up uh, to be hoisted above the stage. He lost consciousness. He was let down. He was fed intravenous uh, fluids on stage. He was taken to Spring Valley Medical for observation and treatment and was released after a few hours there and was back on stage Saturday night and did the that routine in both shows, right. in the 7 and, and 9.30 shows. And, and I don't want to say that was bound to happen, but, I mean, it's an intense... Bound uh, is the problem. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's an intense, <laughs> you know, illusion that he does. It is, you know, and it, it reminds you of how difficult a lot of these acts are in all shows in Las Vegas, right. but this is a very difficult routine, and, and the great ones make it look easy, and you don't realize until something goes wrong how difficult it is. Chris is notoriously hardworking. Mm -hmm. He is a guy who doesn't get enough sleep, frankly. I've known this about him for years. He didn't drink enough water. He didn't eat properly. He just came off of vacation where he was sick at the end of it mm. all that combined and what he told me was a perfect storm mm -hmm. and uh, and that's what led to him blacking out and mm -hmm. uh, you know for those of us who've been around Las Vegas and have experienced far worse incidents this was very scary sure. it was very scary I got okay. chills the moment I, I heard about it and you just want to make sure that he's okay and is able to continue his uh, his life and careers as, as yeah. uh, planned and he's do doing that now he's in Mexico City visiting his uh, girlfriend right okay. now okay so good go. we're glad he's okay we yes. got a, a, about a minute and a half here and I want to run through a couple other things Terry Fader celebrating eight years I can't believe it's been eight years right uh, mm -hmm. uh, and you were there right this mm -hmm. week at the Mirage and we got yeah. some pictures from the show Monday night he's uh he's celebrating his eighth anniversary at the Mirage, and he actually debuted earlier than that at the uh, Las Vegas Hilton soon after he won America's Got Talent that year. He's brought out a new puppet, a <laughs> Sir Elton John puppet. <laughs> <laughs> It, this is a, that's not uh, Sir Elton John, that's Murray Sawchuk. No, Sawchuk. that's, that's Murray uh, <laughs> Terry's wife, Angie. Um, it, Sir Elton John is part of an effort that Terry is making to add more celebrity, living celebrities to his uh, act so he can do, go internationally and people understand the music and everything. And yeah. Funny. Really funny, cool. Funny puppet. All right, we're happy to still have Terry around. Just such mm -hmm. a great show there over totally. at the Mirage. Okay, and then you experienced something really cool last night. Tell us about this. You um, went to see Mystere. I went to see Mystere with a friend of mine named Jerry Lewis. Yeah. Jerry Lewis. <laughs> kind I of go, a big deal. We go, we go to shows once in a while. It's mm -hmm. There we are with Brian Dewhurst. Brian has been in Mystere for 17 years and been in the cl and clowning and in circus uh, all of his life since he was a child. Brian turns 85 in May and Jerry turns 91 tomorrow. Wow. We've been talking about seeing Brian together and we finally made it happen. These guys. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a couple of peas in a pod. They're yeah. just, as Brian said, we're just going to clown around for a while. <laughs> and uh, we had a really good time, and Jerry was thrilled to see him. Brian had seen Jerry perform at the Palladium with Dean Martin in 1953 in London wow. and remembered that show, and they were talking about that there. Just a great moment with a couple of icons, and, uh, and Brian was thrilled. It was a really cool night, yeah. and uh, we, we had a really fun time at the show. So I'm going to be writing about this today for tomorrow's okay. column. Cool. Yeah, and then you can find more on the, your YouTube channel. Real quick, take off your hat. Thanks for sharing in your head for St. Baldrick's. You're welcome. Good job, cats. <laughs> It'll Baldrick's. all grow back. Don't worry. St. Baldrick's. Yeah. Childhood cancer. Childhood obviously. cancer. Thanks, Melody. Sweet Saturday. She did it in New York, New York. And uh, here we go. Fifth year I've done it. All right. Awesome. You can always check out Cats' column online. Stay with us.